Woo! <clears throat> Good stuff. Oh my my. Let's roll. Another day, another run, another sunrise. Although, I'm not quite in full-on summer mode yet with respect to waking up early, early to catch the sunrise. I, in order to get to the locations that I like to get to for the sunrises, I gotta leave the house no later than 4 or 15. And I'm just not quite on the A game yet. Now remember Monday or Sunday, I can't remember which day it was, the question of the day was, what is your training look like for this week that we're in right now? Well, well at least, uh, yeah, when this publishes on Friday, have you or will you have had to make any slight alteration? So that's today's QD. Have you made any slight alterations or maybe major changes to your training this week? Okay, that's the QD because it's, it's, it's really valuable to be able to, to pivot, but also to be able to stick to the plan at the same time, meaning you still are, a, you know, you can report to your coach, whether you report on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, however you do it, or maybe daily basis, uh, you can report to your coach and say, hey, I had to flip-flop days, or I decided my legs were a little too tired on Tuesday, so I made up for it on Wednesday. Um, I decided to go, tempo day on Thursday, but decided to go easy on Friday. Anyway, there's a lot of different ways to remain flexible in your training, but also to stick to the plan where you just move. It's like a chessboard. You're moving pieces around as you're formulating your, your opportunity to, to, to strike and strike on race day. But you, you know you got to get the work in every, you know, every you know, macro level, every month, every quarter, uh, but there's the opportunity, not well, the opportunity, sometimes the forced hand, if the pieces on the chessboard are, are forcing you to say, hey, hmm, something doesn't feel right here. I better move this workout over there or over there or over there, etc. All right, that's the QD. Onward and upward we go. Oh, I gotta, gotta see. I just gotta see. I don't know. No, why, why not? Let's just, let's just go, go uh, explore a little bit. probably should have asked, when was the last time you went on a scouting mission for your runs? That's part of today. This is the Bakerville exit. Checking out GT. That's where I train and I'm just kind of checking it out. I think I would probably hit snow at Hmm. At about 10,500 feet. So it's not it's not ready. About halfway, I thought I'd pull over, get you the comment of the day. Thanks for commenting, every. Oh, by the way, man, look at that view. That's uh, Tories over there. In case you're wondering where I'm at, 
Gray's and Tori's behind me. All right, Greg, me, 18, says, I definitely have a rotation of how I use my running shoes. Like after they have lost their soul, <laughs> it's so, S-O-U-L in uh, quotes, as a running shoes or the midsoles gives out, I typically transition them to work shoes. And when they become too funky for work, they become garden, gardening and putzing around shoes. Love that word, putzing. Uh, like right now, I'm running in Nova Blast 3s. I wear my Nova Blast 2s to work, and I use my original Evo Ride 1s for yard duty. Greg, that's awesome. You get to comment of the day, sir. Send me an email, man, and I'll get you some DGR swag in the mail. All right, let's finish off this run, get off this mountain. It's actually, uh, it's nice out, it's not too windy. Actually, if I can find it, I'll put the last time I was up here about three months ago. Woo, chilly. Oh. Ah, yeah, slipped in the mud. I literally, I just turned the camera on. My my rump is full of mud. Oh, it's 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 kind of nasty out here. Okay, it's actually nice. I like mud. <laughs> so, what I was about to say before I fell is that listen, doubt's gonna creep in. It might. You might have questions. You might have uncertainties in your training in your training block. Trust me, it happens to me too. But the more you do it. The more repetitive you are, the more you tinker and figure out, okay, this worked, this didn't work, uh, the, the more times, the more chances you're going to give yourself to succeed. It's all about at-bats. Well, Major League Baseball players, I mean the best of the best, bat like 310, you know, 320. So that means seven out of every 10 at-bats, they're striking out. Oh my goodness, that just is amazing. But, so keep getting up at bat, everybody. See you. Work hard. Love each other. See you tomorrow.